Picture me leaving the 7-Eleven this day with my coffee in hand. I walked across the street and climbed a hill which rose up from downtown Oakland toward Piedmont, Vernon Street. Halfway up the hill, I came across a man walking himself backward up the hill, across from the Whole Foods mothership. Honestly, I cannot be right sure he even was a sentient after all. He blurred out around the edges, and though he tried throwing his arms and energy all about, none of this seemed to take root. At the top of the hill was Piedmont, one of the wealthier districts of Oakland. The money lived in the hills, of course. Vernon took you uphill at a 60 or more degree angle, which made walking backwards even stranger. A transient blur of man, light in foot and heavy on the smile, shining down upon the city. I was impressed by his technique, whereby he was watching everything below and me, studying me. I could feel the invasion. I wondered who the hell he was, kind of charismatic and intrusive, yet lighthearted and amusing. There were cars coming from both directions, modern cars with modern man inside, preoccupied by cell phones and the mad scramble to get whole foods from whole paycheck, the 4 p.m. early bird rush hour special. Having just escaped the cubicle conundrum with a Houdini slip into very American escapism, alluring semi-freedoms, belted into automobiles, locked into AMOLED screen sexting behind curvaceous windshield safeties. They were coming up from the Grand Avenue turnoff or down from the 580 exit. I witnessed them pass without incident through the man, the magician, high-stepping in reverse in the middle of the road, smoke and mirrors hidden up his silk vestments, conjuring up Jimi Hendrix with the faux buckles and the fitted cummerbund. My eyewitness was outwitted. I blinked a couple times to clear the impossible, but sure as the sun in the sky, he was not struck by the machines. He didn't die, just kept stepping backward up with a twinkle in his eye and that Cheshire grin wide like a bow tie. I realized then that no one could see him but I.